Okay, in this segment, we're gonna demonstrate how the people at home who have interior stainless steel appliances would take care of these issues. We got a little bit of fingerprints, we got some soap scum residue from general washing down with warm water and soap. And uh, this, to me, is one of the most important segments, I think, because it hits the majority of the people that have the issues that we're tackling right now. This would be similar to like a sub-zero refrigerator door front, or if you have a large oven, uh, or range, or dishwasher door, you know, those sort of things, or a stainless steel washer and dryer. Anytime you have anything on the inside that's not exposed to the elements, where you have the salt, the rain water marks, the acid rain water marks, or the heavy mineral marks that come from the sprinklers or something like that. You could also do this technique on outside kitchens if they're in relatively decent shape without doing a real deep clean like in the other segments with the grills that we did before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into this segment with our Brightworks metal polish and our Brightworks metal preservative. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our 3M961 handle and also the 3M Scotch-Brite sponge with the Scotch-Brite backing. And we're gonna marry those two together as in the demonstrations beforehand, or if you haven't seen those demonstrations, we're showing you it again. Then we're gonna take our rag, which is about maybe three and a half inches across and anywhere from, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches in length. It doesn't matter on the length, as long as when we put this on top of that sponge, we can wrap it around. And the reason we want the sponge side to be on this side, on the rag side, is if we slip off, we're not scratching our stainless substrate or area or panel, whatever you want to call it. So once we wrap that around, get it good and tight, we're going to go ahead and introduce the metal polish to our rag, maybe about one or two little strips. And since it's not something that we have to do a heavy deep clean on, we're gonna take the metal preservative with it. And that'll reduce the amount of metal polish that we got on that stainless steel panel. And so it's less metal polish we have to take back off. So when we go ahead and start, we wanna identify which way the grain of the metal is going. Now this one's going vertical, but some appliances, they go vertical, also horizontal, depending on how they manufacture. Possibly the doors are a different way of the grain than the, the actual the upper door or the refrigerator doors where you have a trifold and a freezer one on the outside. So the reason I'm being so so uh, emphatic about the grain is because nowadays the new stainless steel refrigerators have a cheaper smelting when they put the, the molecules together with their stainless steel forging than the older stainless steel. So it's easy to scratch the new stainless steel and it's cheaper for them to manufacture. That's why we want to make sure we go with the grain in order to not go ahead and cross grain that stainless steel finish, the factory finish. So we already established that it goes up and down, vertical, not horizontal, not left and right. So we could go ahead and start by going straight up and down. We want to go ahead and come back Reload, about two stripes is normally what I do, and then two stripes of the preservative. That, that seems to be my formulation. Yours might be a little bit different. But basically all we wanna do is cover that whole panel. And every time you go up and down, you wanna remove your rag and then start another track. We don't wanna go ahead and keep the rag on it going back and forth, just like a railroad track, both rails are running parallel together. So we want to go ahead and do the same thing. I lift off the substrate every time, off the panel, and then reintroduce it. And that's good practice, because if you ever get into scotch bright graining, it's the same deal. So, not to be impolite and put my back toward the camera, but this is exactly what you'd be doing at home, on whatever appliance that you're working on. And you could take this technique on anything, it doesn't matter what shape it is, what size it is, this is the technique to use when you're doing a general deep clean. You're not having to use straight metal polish, and if you can't see me, it's because I'm down on my knees and I have knee pads in my pants, in my pant legs, so if you're actually gonna do something like this, 
make sure you get a kneeling pad or even a rolled up bass towel will work pretty good. But anytime you're going down on hard packed surfaces, tile floors or whatever, make sure you're protecting yourself. Okay. And in the matter of time, I was given that short dissertation. We got the whole panel generally cleaned. All right, it was with the metal polish and the metal preservative mixed. And that way, when we go to wipe this all off, we don't have a whole lot of metal polish on the panel because we've mixed the two products half and half, which will make for a quicker time when we have to come back to doing the second step. And that's taking the metal preservative, pouring it in our little plastic container. This is a chemically treated container. Makes no difference. You have a glass bowl, you have a stainless steel bowl, whatever the case may be. Just make sure you got enough to get your folded rag, which we're gonna fold several different times. It's the same, same similar rag that we used on the Scotch-Brite handle. We're gonna dip that in and then we're gonna wring it out. After we wring out our rag, it's inundated throughout the whole cloth. And we got these things folded for a specific reason, because we're gonna take it from the top and we're gonna go all the way down in one wipe. We're not gonna wipe it circular. We're gonna wipe it from top to bottom. And we're gonna rotate our rag, do the same exact thing all the way to the bottom. We don't wanna go ahead and do one of these or one of these, because all you're gonna do is push that metal polish and uh, the staining from whatever product was on there prior to this product just around the panel. So we want to be very concise in our movements. We want to make sure we're moving that all one way. And the good thing about that is once it's removed and we go follow up and come back over it again, the key to a streak-free stainless steel panel or surface is that our rag comes out white. As white as it was when we dipped it, the same as when we finish our panel. Now as I move across this panel, I'm doing the same thing as when I was polishing the panel. I take one, one strip and I continue down the whole time. And I rotate my rag every time I make a pass. That's very important because we don't want to be wiping it down with the same side as we did prior. Okay, so what I got right there is about a rough wipe. And as I open up my cloth, you can see there's where all the metal polish and the rest of the stuff that was on there before came off. So we take a new cloth, fold it up the exact same way, and you notice I only dipped it once. That's why I dip it one time. The reason why is because I don't want to introduce the dirty rag, whatever the contents that I was pulling off that panel back into my clean preservative because that clean preservative can go back in the bottle after we're finished and we do our finalization of this panel. So another clean rag, wiping top to bottom. This is the final wipe. We got a little bit of dirt on there. Trust me, you'll see it. And if you see it, that one wasn't so bad. We'll go ahead and go again on the next one. See, very, very light. That's what we're aiming for. So that first wipe was an effective wipe and we just follow that through all the way down. Also, another good thing about this technique is once you're finished wiping this and everything's coming off your rag as clean as it was when we dipped it, you'll be done and you could walk away from it. You don't have to go ahead and come back and wipe the preservative on it. It's already being wiped on as you're applying it through these cleaning stages.
and that is key. Now, if I stopped right there, it'd be a pretty darn clean surface. But, as a perfectionist, I'll go one more time over just to double check my work. And I just caught it on an edge, but other than that, it's a pretty clean panel. So I'm gonna fold it inside out, because I'm pretty confident about what I did prior. Now in a video, or in pictures, it's very hard to capture how scuzzy this piece of stainless steel was. The naked eye will always catch it, but in photography and video photogra videography, you won't see it. But your, your guests will, your families will, so basically, I'm pulling nothing off that. So in the short period of time that we did this video, you have an absolutely, amazingly beautiful piece of stainless steel, whether it's a refrigerator, oven, washer, dryers, dishwashers, you name it. This is the technique that you do a general deep clean on. Uh, something that's in a little bit more neglect state, just use straight metal polish, but then come back with the preservative, wipe it one way, and that's the final product right there. It'll dry to the touch in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can also take a microfiber cloth and wipe around where you'd have your handles and you get the fingerprint buildups. You get by in between putting extra coats of preservative on by just using that little tip. The microfiber cloth does real well. Cloths, yeah, so-so, but microfiber, it has those special fibers that grabs that grease. That's the way to do this segment. This is the way to go ahead and finish all your interior stainless steel. The most important segment, I believe, that we have to offer.